Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another weekly edition of your Sportsman's Warehouse Report here in the Columbia, South Carolina store right off the Piney Grove Road exit and online at www.sportsmanswarehouse.com 24-7. We've got fishing manager Justin Kajak with us. And, you know, folks, it's early November. Uh, there's a lot of championships going on. It feels like tournament fishing is back into a little bit of a groove with everything we have happening. Justin, always good seeing you. Uh, we got a lot of events that are regional that are big uh, in the, this weekend and, and, and next week. This weekend alone, we got the uh, Shelby School Special Olympics Tournament up on Lake Norman. That's a, an annual event, 150 boat uh, plus field uh, going out of Pinnacle up there. Good tournament, good cause, gives away a lot of money. Uh, and then we've also got the Georgia State Championship going on down at West Point. That's a 200-plus boat field. We've got uh, Brad Sears, Anger Channel Pro Staff, for fishing that. He's going to be reporting on that all weekend. And then, of course, next week we've got the Bassmaster Weekend Series National Championship going on down at Santee. $100,000 is at stake. We're going to talk about that last. First off, let's talk about Lake Norman and, and West Point. You know, these are both lakes that... that didn't have tremendous years, although there's plenty of fish in all of them. It really just comes down to can you find quality this time of year. And it seems like with the weather cooling down, we just had a big front move through. The wind will be blowing this weekend. Somebody's going to find a little quality. Yeah, you know, hopefully so. You know, like you're saying, the weather's been playing a huge effect. You know, here locally, Murray and Watery have that turnover. You know, I haven't heard about it on Norman or West Point or anything like that. But, you know, like you're saying, if you find that wind, you know, find the points, water's cooling down, bait's moving back to the creeks, you know, you can get in there and you can catch a decent bag yeah i fully expect that to be the case i think up on norman this weekend justin when you got 150 boats the high temperature tomorrow is going to be sniffing 60 degrees i would suspect somebody's going to catch anywhere between 16 and 17 pounds to win on that uh particular lake and then over on west point you know there are times in the past couple years where west point has had multiple 20 pound bags I don't get the feeling from talking to a whole lot of folks that that's going to be the case this weekend. But again, when you got 200 plus boats, you know, those types of numbers guarantee one thing, and that is that somebody will catch them. Oh, yeah, that's, a, that's always the case. You know, you have boats out there, someone's going to be on them. You know, you may see a bunch of those eight, nine pound bags coming in, but someone will have a good bag one of those days. All right, now let's move on to the, to the, to the big one that everybody's talking about and has been talking about all year. The Bassmaster Series Weekend National Championship on Santee. Uh, Santee's been fit, has had a great year. Uh, we hear from all the reports that that, uh, that we get that fishing is uh, coming back on after a about a three month lull down there. Uh, and I think Justin, if you haven't fished Santee a lot, watching these anglers come in and out of that fishery. You've got to make a decision on game day, and that is if you have a lot of confidence in your ability to catch quality, I think you have to go to the lower end of that lake. That's where the quality is. That's where all the guys that catch those kicker fish seem to catch them. But if you don't have confidence in your ability to catch a kicker fish and you miss it and you end up with an empty live well, that doesn't do you any good. So that means you need to go to the upper end of the lake, catch some quantity, and maybe get two or three uh, threes and fours in there that can really put you in the hunt. So the question is, what do you do? Yeah, you know, for me, I've always been a guy that wants to go ahead and get fish in the boat right away. So, you know, especially on Santee, one of the baits I'm going to throw, especially this time of the year, it's going to be a fluke-style bait, and I would definitely throw this on a double rig. You all know last year at Nationals, uh, Ryan McMurtry won it. Uh, on Lake Gunnersville throwing a double fluke rig, and it's going to play out the same way it did on Gunnersville that it will on Santee. Now, if I'm going after my bigger fish this time of the year down there, definitely going to be throwing a spinner bait. This is a fish stalker four blade, good style bait to throw down there, especially with smaller bait. It's got the four quad blades on there, smaller size, imitate the smaller bait fish, but a good big fish catching bait. Well, I'll tell you what, there's going to be a lot of attention paid to what's going on down there. And then last but not least, everybody's talking about the new Alabama rig. And could that be a factor uh, at that event? I am not going to be surprised if you see 10 or 15 guys throwing that thing. I know some of the boys that come from that area of the country will probably have it, and it was, it'll was it probably be a really good bait to throw on Santee this time of the year. Justin, for those who aren't familiar with it, do you, have you seen one and how it's uh, what the composition of it is? Yeah, it is basically a downsized umbrella rig that guys throw for striper. I mean, you, you can come in. I can show you what it looks like. We've already had guys coming in here and asking for them, but it's essentially a smaller version of an umbrella rig. 
man. I'll tell you what. Uh, it seems like about every year and a half there's a new hot bait that everybody's got to have, and nothing's been hotter the past three weeks on all the message boards and uh, websites than the, than the Alabama rig. Hey, great seeing you, folks. Uh, great time of the year to come in, sportsmen. Crowds aren't too heavy before the Christmas rush starts on Thanksgiving. Inventory's uh, full tilt. Great selection, good discounts, uh, just a great time to come by. And Justin and his team are uh, usually always here. Yeah, well, you know, they try to keep me here. I, you know, I got a cot set up in the back, so they keep me squared away here. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. There's not too many times I've been here when you're not here. Hey, man, uh, best of luck the next two weeks. You're going to have a lot of guys coming in here on their way to Santee. Don't forget, if you're driving from a long distance and you're going down to Santee, Odds are you're going to be coming through the Columbia area. You need to stop here at Sportsman's Warehouse at the Piney Grove Road exit. And if for some reason you can't get by, you can shop online 24-7 at www.sportsmanswarehouse.com and get these plus all the other products we bring to you each and every week. Man, great seeing you. I'm looking forward to seeing what the weights are at Santee. Let's make a quick prediction. What do you think they will be at Santee? I'm going to go ahead and say an average I'm probably I'm probably going out a little high, but I'm gonna I'm gonna call 18 a day out there. 18 a day. Yeah, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with that. I'm gonna stick with 18 a day. All right, you know we're gonna hold you to it, man. And by the way, if you didn't make it uh, down to Murray for the Berkeley Big Bass event two weeks ago, I believe they had 166 boats. Yeah, it was a, a much better turnout than it was last year. You know, growing numbers every year. I will probably part here, but a great turnout. You know, thanks for everyone chipping in, helping out, my buyers especially, you know, getting all the new product out there. So it was a good event. Well, that's fantastic. Hey, uh, uh, great seeing you, folks. Uh, have, a, have a great weekend. Fall fishing's here, and we'll see you next week.